This is Danny Chavis, and you're watching an NAACP update. Raynette Turner, the 43-year-old mother of eight who died in police custody, was laid to rest on Friday, August 7th, and the family are yet seeking answers. She died in police custody after inmates say she was ignored and obviously in pain. Mount Vernon Mayor Ernest Davis insists they will get to the truth regardless to where it leads. The mayor might want to start with police, who have claimed to have taken Miss Turner to the hospital. Most people arrested on the weekend are held until Monday, but in Miss Turner's case, no paperwork had ever been prepared for her to see the judge. As she awaited to see the judge, she was removed from one cell and then placed in another. And here is where she died. Is it that a woman obviously sick who officers themselves admit had thrown up and was removed to another cell because of it have no paperwork whatsoever in order for her to see the judge? How is it that they could have claimed to have taken her to the hospital but no paperwork concerning it exists? National Action Against Police Brutality hopes indeed the mayor gets to the bottom of it. There are those expecting justice will be given in light of the special prosecutor investigating the case. These individuals are parents who themselves have lost loved ones at the hands of police. And they are determined to see to it justice is given. A town hall meeting has been called and the mayor and special prosecutor will be taken to task in regards to their handling of this case. Those who have an interest in seeing justice is served are urged to attend. Until next time, this is Janet Chavis and you're watching an NAACP update.